Hello, Horde of the Boards here again. Oh, for all you hoarders of boards <laughs> and board games and card games and all the fun stuff in our hobby. Uh, I just came back from Essence Peel and I just want to give you uh, some general information how it was and my board game haul, what I got and the things that I maybe missed. Uh, and we're actually not there because it was actually not that hard to... Uh, it could be also it's still hard to miss some stuff because it's it was still big even with the the new setup, but a lot of no shows and things sold out. So uh, I went uh, uh, yesterday and today, Thursday and Friday the fourteenth and fifteenth. It's still going on tomorrow the fifteenth, no the sixteenth and the seventeenth of October, and. Uh, how was the spiel with the the COVID and the, the, the times we are living in? It was very good, by the way. Uh, they had uh, <clears throat> the corona check. You had to wear masks. Uh, uh, you, uh, uh, they, they had like disinfecting the tables. You had hand gels everywhere. There's some spaces outside where you could take off the mask and well, at the food places outside, you can uh, take off your mask and also inside when you have food, of course. Uh, a lot of places where you can go outside between the halls, between the corridors. You had like doors open where you can just take your breather, take your mask off. And it was actually very good. Um, uh, uh, some no-shows before I go, go to the uh, people, to the games that were there uh, and some games that I couldn't uh, get in time because they were sold out. Uh, have you on my list? Uh, biggest no show for me was Whiskies. They were not there. Uh, there can be obvious reasons because of Corona. A lot of the conventions were packed together, like Gen Con and then Origins and now Spiel because Gen Con, Gen Con got moved up. Um, so a lot of uh, publishers and uh, were not there because uh, of a few factors. It could be Corona, it could be uh, the, the conventions being so tightly together because organizing these things is a uh, is kind of like hard. I'm, I I uh, I am just a little bit tired. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, just uh, my I think my sugar just dropped. <laughs> oh. I uh, I have to really go to bed, but I'm still doing this video. Um, so uh, Whiskers was not there. I wanted to uh, buy a Rapid Fire, but it was only a demo. So usually I just demo games that I can buy there. There are some exceptions, by the way. Um, and also uh, Grease Lightning and Free Radicals was actually high on my list. So yeah, it, uh, it is what it is. They were not there. Uh, Adele was just a demo, uh, but uh, my local game store, uh, two people from the, my local game store were there and they talked to uh, the, the publisher and they said, uh, it's gonna be okay, they're gonna get the game. Uh, also, Arc Nova was sold out. As soon as I, I ran, I ran, I, I got there, I was tired. I was really tired. Because I had to, go, I had to run from hall, uh, went through hall eight, then waiting in hall seven to that was like a waiting area, uh, before the doors opened to go to hall six, where the the convention starts at hall six, or in hall three, or in hall one, depending on where you enter. There are the three entrances, but I had to go all the way to hall three, and there was already a line before it even opened. <laughs> I think some people had like maybe VIP tickets, I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, they didn't have a lot of English copies. I think they had like 18 or 20 copies left of the pre-orders. They still had the German version, so I missed out on that. Uh, the range from Hobby World is still just in German. I heard it on their website, it, it's, it is available in English. So at least I can check out uh, uh, Hobby World's website. Um, also, some missing on my list were Honey Buzz because it's Honey Buzz was not finished in time for the spiel. Um, uh, I didn't have the chance to 
uh, demo bad company uh, because all, all is full uh, reload was also uh, not available it, it you could demo it so then it fell off my list for a little bit uh, and ruination was not being played that much and i'm still not sure if i should buy that one there are some some that fall into that category but you want to know what i uh, what i bought so first of all uh i want to give a shout out to game for life i got a pen from them by the way i'm gonna keep this one and a big shout out to hella and lean uh, they have a great channel please subscribe and this is in no fact that I won a game on their channel to be honest but they are so nice they're such nice people uh, I have the pleasure of playing some social deduction games with Hella online uh, and they are so nice I uh, I want a copy of Biotopia and Biotopia is a game, uh, I played it and I played, uh, uh, I got uh, to meet the designer and I played with Hella. Uh, it's a game of butterflies, so you have cards that are double sided. One, one side is a different type of blood, uh, butterflies with effects and points and the other side is uh, uh, a flower. So you can play it as a flower and in your turn you can play a card face up or face down, if it's face down. Uh, there's a butterfly and um, can be a butterfly beneath it because there can also be other types of plants or even uh, effects uh, but if you play it face down it plays as a plant and some butterflies need a certain amount of plants to be played uh, and some have effects the, that they draw cards and you can put it as a plant like immediately um, and there's some end game scoring a very fun game i got it signed by the designer Enjoy, enjoy my game from Michael Lode Anderson. I hope I uh, pronounced it correctly. So I want to just give a shout out to uh, Helen and Lean. Uh, they always made great videos, uh, especially around the conventions. Like I love, I love how they uh, compare each other's lists. And um, the first game that I uh, bought when I came in by the way is uh, oh yeah go go to their website and subscribe um, is Lost Moons of Arnak Expedition Leaders I will do an unboxing of these this is just to show you oh like this Expedition Leaders it's an ex expansion for Lost Moons of Arnak it's the only expansion that I have and it was on my list and I'll show you the back so you have new leaders, they have new leaderboards, uh, they're going to be new, uh, they have an uh, uh, individual card, oh I haven't seen the individual cards the pictures yet, and I see it. Uh, there are new 1800 items and 12 mysterious artifacts, two new temples to explore, so you, uh, you can have the, the, the temple track be different, and they're double sided. So. Um, and there are new assistants, guardians, and archaeological sites and more. And even the new tracker can be like flipped because there's a symbol on the other side. So, and uh, some of them are already punched out. The unboxing is just, it's just me going to go through the, through the things. I am going to unbox them by myself. I know. Maybe I'm going to do the unboxing of... Because I, I just want to show you the bits already like punched out and a few of them... Um, are quite big and I just want to uh, unbox them to be honest but I'm gonna show you I usually do unboxings uh, on on the channel but I'm just gonna uh, do like an overview kind of thing because I think that's I uh, like that better for 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 the spiel so that is uh, Lost Ones of Onyx Expedition Leaders uh, and then I got my first roll and write called Paper Dungeons it's a dungeon scrawler game and uh, I really would love to give this one a few tries. I demoed this one by the way. So you have these, uh, uh, oh, I didn't put it correctly. So you have these uh, boards where you, you roll these dice and on the dice there are certain 
think you can upgrade certain characters. So you're this you're this uh, this band of uh, of uh, trav of uh, like D and D characters, and you're gonna uh, 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 make your stats bigger. You can put your life points up, but you will also get damage, which you will write down, and you can also get potions because you're moving around this. There's some movement dice, but every dice you can use has two movements. It doesn't matter what it is. And you're going to go through these uh, dungeons. These are like setup cards, which you can... Uh, it sets up extra walls and stuff like that. And where the monsters are going to be, there's going to be three monsters. At the end of... Uh, the f you roll it like three times. At the end of that, uh, the, the third round, you're going to fight the first boss monster if you pass through it. Or else you don't find it. Uh, and you try to get the most points, yeah. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, attack minions, you can collect gems, upgrade certain stats of your dice if you use that uh, amount of dice. Really cool game from Alicat Games. It's uh, Paper Dungeons. I did the demo, but I hope I played it correctly. But hey, there's a rulebook for, for you. In uh, my bargain of uh, Essen, I don't know if there are other bargains that were better. Uh, I did see a few bargains, but if, uh, one of uh, of a game that I already had, the Magnificent, was there for 15 uh, euros. But I got Crystal Palace. There was some Dutch, uh, uh, some German bargain, but this is the English version. It was at Feuerland uh, Spieler for 20 euros. I. I've heard a lot of good things about this. This was like a blind buy for me. I don't know if it's good. It's basically uh, in Crystal Palace, each player represents a nation of the First World Fair in 1851 uh, in London. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna make a fair. It's a dice placement game where the players themselves determine the stats of their dice at the beginning of each round. The higher the number, the better, but it comes at a price. Oh, wow. I love it. Looks really cool. So I don't know anything about it, but I think this will stay in my collection because it's, I think it's highly regarded. I think I will like it. It's dice. It's uh, uh, it's uh, how you place the dice, and you have to make, put inventions. I don't have a I don't have this theme in my collection yet of a world fair. So this will hopefully hopefully I'm not going to say anything for 100% certainty. Uh, hopefully a good game and it will stay in my collection. Um, so the Crystal Palace. These are all games that I bought on the first day. Uh, oh, I also have one other that I bought on the first day, which was high anticipated on a lot of people's lists. And that is called, it's a heavy box. It's called Bitoku. Bitoku from the Veer. So you baby, you're basically a spirit in the forest. Uh, trying to well, you're trying to be the head spirit at the end of uh, all the seasons. Uh, it's a heavy worker placement game. It has a beautiful board, beautiful components, a double sided, double layered board, um, and uh, player boards look great. The pieces look amazing, awesome art. This was a no brainer. Uh, and I, I just love the art. I love uh, oriental art. I love these these like stylized um, games a lot. So I'm ready to give this one a try. It's a heavy game. It's uh, one to four players, 120 minutes. So yeah, two hours for ages for enough. I haven't talked about the other ones, but they're gonna come uh, by later on in the channel. Um, the last game that I bought it was today, I already bought it, like my biggest game I still have to show you guys, is Origins. I haven't demoed this because there was a long waiting uh, line. And when I came there, they said that, uh, I said I was, I was waiting and the girl didn't even say that I could pick a, a time to come back to. So I was like, okay, then I will just go do my thing. And a friend of mine said that this was great because he demoed it. I watched a few people on, the, on different channels talk about the game, so I think I know the, uh, know what the game is. 
so I'm very confident that this that I will like this. That is very big chance. So I bought this one. It's a dice placement uh, game where the color of your dice can matter. You can activate different things on the board, on the disc, this side, and then these dials will increase. So you can uh, you can only put dice of the same value or higher on these spaces. You're gonna compete on these tracks to go up and get certain cards that have different abilities. I think this is a military track here and you can get uh, buildings where you can build a, uh, a city with a district where you can lock dice. Uh, looks really cool. I can't wait to play this one. And it's from uh, Board and Dice. Yeah. Uh. And then my big, big, my big, 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 and I only bought the base game because it was kind of a big spending spree if I bought this one and the expansion. Uh, and uh, maybe I will get the expansion later, but I don't know if the expansion is a Kickstarter expansion that I have to get to complete this one. And if it's just uh, the base expansion, then so be it. But I got the Kickstarter version of Monumental with some extra coins because um, I'm gonna need them. <laughs> That's basically it. Monumental Core Box. Oh, well, there's nothing on the back, but I saw it. Uh, I saw it on the table. I saw the Dice Star uh, preview, uh, the well, uh, review. So go check that that one out, and uh, it's a game about civilization and uh, yeah, it's a kind of like a forex game. I'm gonna show this off as well. So, well, that was my haul. I bought some things from for other people as well that can can make it for us uh, with, with us, and I can't wait to uh, to get all these games played. So. Thank you for watching this like improv video and have a good one. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. I know it's from Free Guy, but I love it so much. <laughs> Bye, guys.